Now it's on. There we go. And I don't know if you need to Is that what it is? I don't know. Hello, and welcome to Life After High School. I'm Bryn Afton, and today we're talking to a friendly face, Mrs. Buffington, who works in the school library. So, Mrs. Buffington, where are you going to school, and what is your major? For my undergrad, I attended Clarion University of Pennsylvania, and I got my BS Ed in Library Science, and I am still a student as I work here. I'm doing my master's through Clarion, also for Library Science. Could you tell us a little bit about how your classes are conducted? At college, you typically have a minimum of four classes per semester. I think the most I had was six classes. And classes per semester meet for 15 weeks. And there's four different types of class schedules that you can have. Uh, the first is you'll meet two times a week for an hour and a half. And that's usually Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday. The second is you'll meet three times a week. And it's for 50 minutes per each class session. And those are Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Uh, the third is the longer of all the options, and it's either labs or night classes, and you'll meet once a week for a solid three hours. And then the final is online classes, where all of your content, tests, and assignments are all online through a portal, and you just have to do it on your own time. Um, with classes, class sizes kind of range on the smaller end at Clarion because it's kind of a slightly smaller campus. Mostly my classes had in the teens, maybe early 20s, but sometimes when you get into the larger classes, it can go from 30 to 70 people in a class, and classes are usually lecture-based. So how classes really work is at the beginning of class, you'll get a syllabus from the professor. And the syllabus outlines everything you're going to talk about for the entire semester, all the readings you have to do, every assignment, the grading, and it's all at the beginning. So from there, you'll immediately get into classwork. The professor will lecture, and they might do small group discussions, or it might be a large group discussion. And outside of class, you have to do the readings and keep up with the assignment because you're not going to get a note sheet. You're not going to have like little fun activity pages to do at the end of class. It's going to be learning in class and then studying and doing assignments outside of class. And it's really all on you from that point on. What are your favorite and least favorite classes? My favorite classes were my library science classes because I think everybody can tell I love the library. But um, what you also want to do is have fun gen ed classes because you are required to take gen ed classes at pretty much every degree program that you go into. Um, I love space, so I took an astronomy class, and some of our classes took place in the planetarium. Um, I also had a mycology class, which is the study of fungi. So we had a lab where we went out into the forest and hunted down mushrooms, which was actually kind of fun. I had a philosophy of film class where we watched some movies outside of class like Lord of the Rings, The Matrix, and we related the plot to like famous philosophers that Sigmund Freud is the only one that I can think of right now. And I really liked online classes because it kind of felt like I had more freedom to do my work on my own time. My least favorite classes were repetitive classes because sometimes for your major specific classes, content repeats itself, it gets boring. And I also had to have health again, which is again, boring. And I also didn't like Friday and 8 a.m. classes because even though you do 7 a.m. classes and every Friday during high school, it somehow becomes infinitely harder during college to do 8 a.m. What was your biggest surprise in your first semester? Was there anything you weren't prepared for? There wasn't anything I wasn't prepared for, like class-wise, because I thought that I had a really good education here at Brookville that prepared me for it. The thing that I struggled with was I commuted from here, home in Brookville, to Clarion every day for four years for all my classes. And going into college, I was under the impression from a couple teachers and people in my life that I wasn't going to get the true college experience through commuting, which I just ended up finding out that that's a lie. It, was, it went great for me. I made friends, still got involved on campus, and big perk was I saved a lot of money not living there in Clarion, which is just 20 minutes away. So anybody that's 
probably considering going to a college in the area, I would strongly suggest considering to commute because you really want to save money. As a teacher at BHS, is there anything you would suggest to change for students heading into high school, college? Again, um, I went through the education here at Brookville. I thought I was very aptly prepared for the classes. There's just kind of an attitude that if anybody is planning on going to college, I'd say now that you need to start getting a sense of ownership for your education because at college it's all going to be on you how well you do in classes. Professors aren't going to give you notes to have, you have to take them yourself. You have to do the readings outside of class or you might be completely lost. There's no class time to do assignments or work on essays. It's all on your own time outside of class and you have to meet the deadline or else it's not going to go well for you. Um, and it's really just a sense of ownership that you have to have because college is preparing you for your future. And that sounds like a be into the ground thing that teachers here keep telling you, but it's really true because at the college level, you are paying for your classes and it's kind of like $10,000 a year minimum, depending on where you go. So when you're dishing out that much money for classes, really take a sense of ownership and prepare yourself best for your future. What social or extracurricular activities have you been involved in? I joined some library science-centered groups and that gave me good experience and connections in my field, which obviously is the library. Um, I was part of the honors program at Clarion, so I had um, involvement in some of those groups on campus. I attended some of Clarion's weekly activities and speakers that they had at Clarion. Um, there are some craft nights that they do every week. The most popular one is Stuff a Plush, where it's literally you stuff a teddy bear or something like that. Um, there's kind of more sporty activities that they do. One which I loved was laser tag, which I dominated at. I'm just saying fun stuff like that. Um, some of the speakers that I had were really good on campus. Uh, one of my favorites is The Buried Life. They had a show on MTV and they came and spoke and I really liked that uh, speaker. And there's a ghost experience that happens on campus where a professor on campus does ghost hunts on campus and they present their findings, which that was fun. Um, didn't have a dorm life, but I still stayed on campus a couple times and kind of got a bit of that dorm life experience. It's just kind of like a practice step into adulthood where you have to hunt down your own food and do your own laundry. Do you have a job? How did you manage your finances so far? During college, I had a work study position on campus and that was really good because I got connections on campus. I got to do something in between classes that gave me a little bit extra cash and it was just a good experience overall. During college, I also had two jobs outside of campus that I worked on weekends and during breaks. And for finances, I started saving when I was 13 years old. So if you haven't started yet, you can start now. But um, I have two accounts for savings. One is for college expenses and the other is for life. For college, you wanna have money set aside for textbooks and those loans are going to add up, so you want to have money to set aside to pay those back. And for life now, I have bills that I have to pay, I have rent, I have monthly car insurance payment that I have to make, which is deducted from my savings account. I have a monthly car loan, which I have to make, which I pay through my phone app. And that life savings account is also where you want to have money to have fun, because you really want to have fun, buy things from Amazon, go out with your friends. So it's kind of just a balance of keeping up with the bills, which I try to do a month ahead, and having fun, because college is gonna be fun, it's gonna be stressful, mostly fun, but that's what you want. Thank you for speaking to us today, Mrs. Buffington. Thank you for having me. If you have any other questions, stop by the school library. Is that it? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs>